And I was, yeah, I'm putting makeup on. What, what did L.A. say the other day? He said I was cold. He said I was fussing at chest ties and these and putting on makeup. You know, I didn't really realize, and I had not been drinking because I'm not a lush like you guys say. And motherfuckers tell me, you drink the Milwaukee bitch. I'm not a cheap bitch. I drink what the fuck I want to drink. Or when a motherfucker get the shit wrong, motherfucker, why you seeing beer cans, bitch, or whatever. But bitch, guess what? I can I don't have a, a DUI. I have never been arrested. I never took a man for child support because all the men that I fuck with always took care of their fucking kids. I don't have no four kids that I never took care of, or I mean not took care of, had no kids that they, they baby your baby mama had to uh, come after you for taking care of your fucking kids, motherfucker. Looking like a weasel with a perm in your hair. And you know, drove a woman so crazy. Oh shit. You know what y'all be careful when you got your, your bag, handbag and shit up under them those uh motion sensor uh water because they will come on your look I'm putting on my makeup because I like to look cute. Cause you never know who you might meet. Cause I, somebody, it's always a, I ain't gonna be, I, hey, RPJ, don't take it serious. RPJ, but send me some money, boy. Hey, yeah, you got, you look like a prosperous man. And guess what? If your money funny, the situation is funny, I'm gonna speak and decree money over you. I decree that money cometh to you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. As long as you send some to me. Now, if you share that money with me, you're going to always have, you're never going to lack, if women even give it to you just for a Cadillac. <laughs> no, I'm just right. I'm serious. I give money. I give money to my enemies. I give money to my frenemies. I give money to people. I give money to people on social media that have talked about me to show you that uh, I'm not mad at them. I'm mad at them for what? Why would I be mad at them because they talked about me? See, you motherfuckers is too sensitive. I wouldn't do this and I wouldn't do that. Now, I understand if you say, like, like somebody told me, I'm not forgiving that bitch. You shouldn't forgive the bitch because they talked about something that came out of your fruit or your lawn. They came out of your womb. So don't, don't, I don't blame you for not forgiving that bitch. It, it's going to take you to say, you know what? Fuck that hoe. Sometimes, and I'm not putting her down, this person down, but... Uh, I'm, I'm saying you may not want to forgive the bitch because this bitch spoke against your child. This bitch, this bitch spoke against your baby, and then you find out. You know what? A lot of motherfuckers that do that shit watch the people that always say certain things about you. They're talking about themselves. They are talking about them fucking selves. They are. Like me and somebody was talking about. Motherfuckers trying to make you wear a fucking jacket that they mother. Oh shit. I might have to wash this and dry it. Cause this shit done got wet under the damn. Yeah. This shit. Let me be careful. This, but these motherfucking bitches, you, they sound so incredibly uh, intelligent and not saying that what they're saying about that person is true, but they can sound so like they, you know, that, that they got a lot of good sense and kind of find out these motherfuckers is crazy as fuck. And they and then they choose and then they then to show you that they to show you that they are retarded and mentally ill, they team up with a bitch. And why is these bitches who who you know what what's what's up you know what fuck you hoes what's up on you cooning like my girl said you cooning ass bitches that's falling for the doggone um that's on the doggone dark skin team. You bitches, let me tell you something. These motherfucking hoes that you that you cooning for right now, they talk about they have talked about you and called y'all dark and shit. They have told me y'all some dark, ugly bitches and you know people like me and you down and we you know we light skin and I'm like, why are they talking to me like that? I don't even know this woman. I never seen her in person. I don't know if she's light or dark and it doesn't matter. I said, well, being light doesn't make you or a lighter tone than another woman or, or a man or woman doesn't make you better than. I said, that's, that's, that's that Willie Lynch bullshit he started back in slavery day and he got paid to go travel around to every state, to every plantation, how to keep the dark slave and the black slave apart because they couldn't understand when they would sit up there and, and sing, make up Negro hit, uh, you know, Negro spirituals like, oh, 
tonight, Lord. Oh, Lord, we gon' get to deck together. But maybe they did it in African, because they said, yes, I'll be out in a second. It never seems to fail. I can come to the bathroom for one second. As soon as I come to the bathroom, somebody got to use it. Every fucking time. I can't even come in the fucking bathroom. I can't. I could be having a baby in this bitch. As soon as I come in the bitch, they act like I've been here for an hour. Like I'm a homeless person trying to get up. But like this man did at the, when I was washing my comforter at the laundry man. He was homeless. And he was in there sleeping. And this lady had to pee. And I just told the man, I said, look, this person been in there a long time. I don't know if they was in it. They could have been there molesting the kid. I said, you need to call the police. Come to find out he was homeless. I gave him 20 fucking dollars. First, I told him to give him no money. Because he kept looking at everybody with them eyes. You know how they, they give you them eyes like they want to ask you? I said, here. Because he lied and said, I'm waiting on the bus. Nigga, how you know when the bus coming and you way off in here? He was telling me, yeah. That's all he would say. I had to pee. I had to go in an alley, park my motherfucking SUV that my husband, usually I don't drive it at night by myself. And I was in Detroit at that because I had left my damn niece house, you know, over there chilling and having fun. But all of a sudden, these people on their break from uh, Myers, they got to pee all of a sudden, you know, they have to pee. So you got to wait, nigga, because um, y'all was sitting in here, sitting in here chilling before I got in this bitch. Now, all of a sudden, they got to use the goddamn bathroom. I'm so sick of it. Hey, have y'all heard that? I done been in this bathroom twice. They, you see how people are not? As soon as I get in the bitch, they knock. As soon as I get in the goddamn bathroom, they want to knock on the goddamn. Well, you wait just like anybody else, but I've had to wait, too. I had to wait for the lady to finish cleaning the damn bathroom. It's like motherfuckers piss and shit don't want to come down. And if anybody say something to me, I'm going to cuss them the fuck out. Because you know I don't give a goddamn fuck. Cause it's like, it ain't because I'm, I'm carrying a goddamn gun. It's because I, before I carry a gun, I will cuss a motherfucker out. And y'all can call me crazy. Do you think I give a fuck? Because the motherfuckers that call you crazy, check their record. They motherfuckers is crazy. They the motherfuckers that's really, really fucking crazy. They want to call you crazy, but, you know, they're really fucking crazy. Now, I'm about to go shopping. I'm about to go drive in, and when I get home, I'm going to show you my little booty and my boo-boo kitty panties with my robe on and show you how high my booty sit up. And it ain't from no panties. It ain't from no, no, no thongs. I just got a nice ass because I do squats, bitch, and my husband helped me. You think I'm crazy? I don't give a fuck. Your mama's crazy. Your daddy crazy. And I'm not speaking. I'm not suddenly speaking to you, RPJ. Mm -hmm. You my baby daddy for now. You my new YouTube hubby. How about that? I love you. Now watch this. I'ma see. I bet you it's an air motherfucker that got a shit and splattered the toilet. Nasty motherfuckers. And I ain't talking about my daughter or her or her daddy, cause they clean. But they, watch these motherfuckers was all sitting down eating lunch. Now they got a shit. I hate me and why y'all mean every time y'all eat y'all got that shit every second. See the motherfucker that got up. He had shit, cause he was eating on his lunch break. He had the boo boo. He has the boo boo. You boo boo and shit. Watch, I bet he, you know what? I used to, I remember one time I had a part time job. I never put my, you know what? I did threaten uh, uh, baby daddies for child support, but I never put them on child support. Because why should I make, and I'm not being racist, but fuck it. I'm gonna keep it real. I like keeping shit real. Why should I get the damn white man, as they say, or the Caucasian man, as, as us black folks say, to make you pay your motherfucking, what you supposed to pay, motherfuckers? If we not together, bitch, and I'm married to you, bitch, I didn't, in, in, the, in the damn divorce decree papers, I cheated myself. I didn't even ask for alimony. I didn't ask for anything. I asked for a fucking divorce, bitch. The Arab one, no, I had no problem because his family, they got money. They own half of this motherfucker. I mean, it's the one I ain't got to pay shit here. Because, like, if I go, especially on Wednesdays, there's something about Wednesdays, you get your shit for half price and free. You can get a $22 case of chicken. It'll cost you $12 and get some bananas and some oranges and some fruit, and they'll give you that shit for free. It's, because, it's something about Wednesdays. I know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you. But anyway... Because I'm not racist. I, I sound racist, but how can I be racist? If not, if I would, I'd be talking about my daughter. And 
one day I'm gonna have my daughter with me and you guys are not gonna even know. But you know what, I did put a picture out there. Like my girl said, don't don't put your kids out here. I don't put them out there. Except I put my son on Google Plus for one second. I announced it on a video. I said, my son on there, get him. You, you, you should have seen how many motherfucking motherfuckers grabbed that shit up. Okay, bitches, so you grabbed my son up, you faggot ass, and I bet you it was a bunch of niggas and he probably jacked off to him. Oh, he done ganked a little weight. Is he going through something? But uh, I got, I'm gonna send, when I get home, hey, uh, Miss Kiki, I got some pictures to send you of him. This is a picture that he took. One picture is a picture he took three months before he had a, um, it was three months. And this is just what I, no, this is cut green beans. I wanna get some uh, sweet peas, or as they call. She is so pretty. I don't care if she got away. She is so pretty, and guess what? Her man is up there fussing at her. Nigga, what you mad about? She gonna cook, but she looking real pitiful. You can tell an abused woman. I mean, I have been around a situation. I've been trained around uh, how to tell when kids are abused. So I, and then human nature just tell me when a, when a woman is going through. I ain't never been abused. A motherfucker abused, you try to hit me, bitch. Guess what? Number one, if we marry, that's the end of the marriage. And ain't the reason I divorced. My first divorce was, I called it Janet Jackson and James Jabbar's divorce because we were, it was annulled because we were motherfucking young and her parents did not like me. Be, be, well, not her parents, her grandparents didn't like me because I was fucking black. Since I, she thinks she white. Oh, Meyer tissue, how much? Four for five. But it's a dollar twenty. But these are the, oh. But you know what? A dollar twenty-five is not bad each. But I, you know what? I'm going to Dollar Tree in the morning to get his um, tablecloth for the church table, and I'm going to Dollar Tree to get his. Uh, you know how you get that uh, silverware? It's not silverware; it's plasticware, but it looks it looks silver. I get that. I like that. It makes the table, and I know how to dress the table. And I got a lot of. Um, I make uh, ornaments. I make. I have a lot of stuff at home. You know um, that I use when I decorate a table. I'm very good at decorating. I know how to make chocolate um, fountains. I do that, but I'm not gonna do all that. I'm not going out, unless I'm doing stuff at home entertaining. I love to entertain and I love to make stuff look pretty. I'm just that kind of woman. I love for things to be pretty. I like things in order and I need some Febreze. No, no, Airwick. I use Airwick, Febreze, and Airwick. I use Airwick in my closets because my closets have um, uh, the, um, they have the electrical outlets. And it's not a good place for a stick up anymore. I use the electric airwick, but I need Febreze. I use Febreze when you first come in from the garage and when you first come in from the front door and when you come in from the back door, I use Febreze. Then I use airwick in the closets and I use Glade uh, in the living rooms and um, in the bedrooms and in the bathroom. Well, not in the bathrooms because I said, what's the point? Because I plug up so many things into the bathrooms. Like... I can have my phone plug and I'd be listening to stuff off of YouTube and I'd be laughing while I'm in the shower. Oh, I need some regular like spray, not Lysol. But you know what? Forget that. I might as well get the disinfectant spray that has an odor. That will work two in one, right? Because I already got and I already got the um, Meyer disinfectant spray or the Lysol. See, the Meyer disinfectant spray is three ninety nine and the Lysol is just a dollar difference. So what's the difference? And I got plenty of wipes. I just forgot to bring my wipes, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the Meyer disinfectant spray that's got some morning flower. It kills 99% before, uh, percent of germs. And guess what? I just don't, because we have fans in the bathroom. Because, you know, if you don't have a window in your bathroom, you're going to have a fan. And so if anybody has a bowel movement, it's going to be sucked up. But, you know, just to have that, I like to keep the house fresh because my husband, after he recovered from the kind of cancer he had, a non-drug abuser, a non-smoker, a non-